Guys, it's a pleasure to be here with you Gem. all. Uh, just wanted to say I'm a huge fan of your work. I think it's a very, very important work you're doing. And you guys are huge in Brazil. Uh, and you are basically huge in our platform. So just so you know, we are a streaming Brazilian streaming platform. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Looking back at what The Chosen has become, the brand and the series, how big it has gotten and how impactful um, in people's lives. How has this experience transformed your lives? Uh, I mean, for me, I guess I'll go first. Uh, it's, it's changed everything, you know, getting, getting cast. I felt like the beginning of my, the, the true beginning of my career. And um, even though we only had four seasons, it just kind of felt everything leading up to that moment, uh, you know, when we first started was was so uh, intense and just, you know, impactful. And, and even though we only knew, like we had four episodes in the beginning, we were like, well, this is, this is something, this is huge. Like, I didn't know where it was gonna go, didn't know what was gonna happen as a result, but I think we all knew like, this is this is big even only with the four episodes and then the fact that it has gone now to four seasons and for a plan seven i think it's it's just sort of um you know it's it's uh it's really summing up i think what we all felt at the very beginning like this has the potential to have touched the entire world and now we're seeing that and sitting here with you in brazil talking to them so it's pretty extraordinary great so how about saying just how far it's reaching and it continuing to reach and how we're translating it into that means six hundred languages. I, I, I mean, that's incredible. To, it was, it's life changing for others and for us as well. Um, just in our hearts, I feel it too. We, I just reading the script from that first time, I knew that there was something special. Again, didn't know where it was going to go. But when you get to set too, it's, you just have that feeling, you know, that there is just incredible things happening and I, you just, I feel God's hand in everything that we're doing there. Sure. You know, I feel like I found my purpose as an artist being a part of this show. Uh, just the fact that I'm playing a role that's impacting so many around the world. It's just, um, this is why I became an artist and I'm there and, and just the impact that's happening is just really touching to me personally. And, and the fact that I'm in Brazil is like a dream. Uh, I never thought this show would take me around the world. And so I'm just enjoying the journey. Very nice. And um, season four is a very emotional and pivotal chapter in the series. Um, and people in America have had very emotional reactions to the episodes. Um, how, what was your reaction seeing the final product? Well, and I'll go first. I'll be coming in about two and admit that I didn't get a chance. Oh no! <laughs> but you were in the scripts. I didn't get a chance. You were in it. There. That's well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like the final product. Like, I mean, watching it. I've only screen. seen the first three episodes on screen. Oh, okay, I've okay, great. So I'm not as little. No, great. Okay. I've watched the entire season. Okay. <laughs> Start with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, of course, he watched the entire season. I, I was blown away. I, I think when we film it, we film it out of order, so we don't really know what yeah. it looks like, and just. The editing and the cinematography, especially watching in theaters, elevates it so much more. So I episodes one and two, two is my personal favorite, and then there's another episode that's my favorite later in the season. But it's just I'm always in awe. My my mouth is like <laughs> every time we're watching something from the chosen that we do. Nice. And did you have a favorite episode to shoot? Oh gosh. Two. Nice. Two. Yeah. <laughs> it is a very yeah, nice episode nice for, one. yeah. One of my favorite yeah. scenes uh, this season. It is a very, very nice scene. Oh, I must say. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. Um, yeah, I, do, I, think, I think because I've only seen the first three, um, there, there are some of my favorite scenes are in those so far that I've seen. Um, and it's also hard, like, when, when, because it's been so long since I've actually seen the material you know other than the script or when we filmed mm -hmm. it it's i don't know about you guys but to me after a while like i start to forget which 
scene was in what season of my yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. Season or what? That is, yep. I can say that. Like when those, you have. No, the one that was. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's season four. It's one of the worst No, what's season four about? When you asked, like, which is your favorite? Yeah, I was like, I what happened? don't see. <laughs> Which episode was it that I did this? I don't know. I just love yeah. small moments, truly. Yeah. Like the the even the moments where nothing is said. There's a moment in the kitchen with you and I. Even those are some of my favorites. Yeah. It's just not not much. Very cool. And yeah, very cool. And um, each of you has brought something very unique to your characters. Um, but looking back, what were the unexpected challenges of bringing them to life? The heat, the dust for them, <laughs> or the lightning, the whole of the play. Well, Can I keep going? <laughs> I've right. so many did the play. And it's like, <laughs> it um, well, on a serious note, for me, it's, it's staying in character, honestly, staying in uh, the headspace of Matthew and, and uh, you know, keeping it up. and. Uh, we have long days and we do many takes, so it's it's a lot of energy for me. So that's always been a challenge, but it's a welcome challenge. Yeah, for me, it's also continuing to stay in that the ad space of continuing to almost stay where I need to stay emotionally uh, to serve the story and not let myself get distracted. It is challenging, especially the content that we you know the, the story we're telling. They could come to life. Yeah, I, I would. I mean, I would agree with both of them. And an ad for, for me, there's like there's the needing to maintain that concentration, um, especially given the the heaviness of the circumstance for season four, and and then on top of that, the amount of scripture that I have to learn, uh, it it becomes it feels like a lot at times, and so. You know, though oftentimes there'll be there'll be uh, moments where, in between scenes, like cast is kind of, you know, we're in the parking lot of the set and guys are throwing around a football or they're like hanging out. I'm like, I want to play, you know, and I <laughs> and I can. I'm like, I'm gonna go study, you know. It's like I always have homework, and the guy just doesn't have a, a respite in the amount of homework. Um, and that's true for all of us when we're working, but for Jesus, because of like the amount of scripture, it just. It just feels like, just good, like extra. So, um, and I think progressively, uh, it's it's going to get harder, you know, until we get to the moment where you know, Jesus dies. So, um, which is it? Which is a welcome challenge at the same mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. but it's also I feel like I'm going to have to be extrapolating myself further and further as we go from like cast just to kind of stay in that zone. Because I think it'll also mirror the isolation that that Jesus ultimately feels, especially as we get to the Garden of Gethsemane. We're very interesting. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Always. Um, and on that note, how do you deal, or do you feel the pressure, and how do you cope with the pressure of playing Jesus? It's not just a manual. <laughs> Lots of wine. It's fitting to the character. <laughs> and lots of bread. Mezcal. Um, um, yeah, you know, uh, I, I just I pray a lot. And I, I, I look for opportunities to just surrender it, you know. Yeah. Ultimately, I have a job and I have to do that job. And no matter what the weight is of that, I still have to do it, I'm not committed to it, and I gladly accept it. And so whenever things feel like they're heavier than I can carry, I, I just have to surrender it over and just be like, hey, can you take some of this load off of my shoulders? And and, um, and sometimes I feel that, and sometimes I don't, and it just still feels heavy. And I just be like, okay, I'll, I'll just keep going. And by the grace of God, I get through it. So. Very nice, very nice. And just to wrap this up, um, what is the message you wish people took from season four? I mean, one of our greatest message, the messages that we we get just in life in general is knowing that there is light at the end of suffering. Mm. And you can find 
that that healing from whatever you're going through from from loss from grief and there is there is hope you know at the end of whatever you're going through we really i just stay on with i think you made me go for that message sits yeah for me it's hope as well very nice yeah i think you know i like to think of these um questions as the, from Matthew's perspective and for him it would be uh, to continue to not let your past uh, define you and always just be a good citizen, a good person uh, help others through the darkness because you know, there's always light at the end of the tunnel and just be the best person, the best version of yourself and I think that's what our show does and will continue to do Well, that was really nice thank you guys so much it was a pleasure meeting you all and talking to you yeah.